giggle, giggle. Shit, but no, what was... What, what window capture do I have on? No, because I didn't even actually, like... Oh, no, he's hot! <laughs> I'm actually a little concerned, just because that means there might be something I have here that shouldn't be on? Let's see, what is this? This is no. I mean, we'll turn off that window capture, but... No, I'm just actually a little concerned, just because that means I have some sort of window capture on that shouldn't be on, which means it might show my fucking computer at some point. What is this? No. Big. Bit of a... You have to have a face tracker for your model, right? Yeah, but it wouldn't be... It would have to sh be showing up on the... Oh shit, Abel. Hell yeah, and I know Milkblade makes comics too as well. Now that's fucking weird. That's literally never happened before, and I haven't made any new... What? Captured that. Boom. Headshot. That's a little fucked. That's, I'm a little concerned. I, I need to know what captured that, though. No, you didn't, Tara. Don't worry about it. That's not important. Huh. I'm a little concerned. You missed nothing, Tara. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. No, because I'm scrolling through everything I have. I had no window captures that would capture something like that. There could be, I guess, my, would my game capture have gotten that? That doesn't make sense. Screen cap? No, I never use just screen cap. I use either the window or the game capture. I don't know. Let's, uh, what's... Literally, no. Huh. That is fucking bonkers. Terramon, thank you for the gifted sub, my guy. I guess we'll press on ahead. I'll just have to cut all of this up to this point out of the YouTube video. Aww. My fantasy of Eric being an adorable tardigrade has been ruined. Oh, no. Wait, but everyone was saying, oh, no, he's hot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Is it worse? As, is my face worse than tardigrade? Oh, no. Yes, definitely gonna have to cut out that, that bit of scuff from the video before it goes on YouTube then. Can't, can't have my horrible, disfigured, fucking disgusting human face on here. Never. Never will we allow it. Tardigrade is cute and hot. Your face was only hot. I see. Alright, so what are we doing? Let's hear. Are we in? We're doing the boss fight. Uh, I know we need space in our inventory to pick up those spears, so I still don't fucking know what we're doing with them. Uh, I think we're dropping this, and we're gonna bring... Is there anything else we have ammo for? Ooh, we could get... Let's see, a revolver, and quite a bit of revolver ammo. Oh, but that uses all of our fucking space. Shit. Do I give up on the thermite then? I guess I have to give up on the thermite. That's gonna make things fucking rough, but. Hey, buddy. I think you have Hey, the wrong is door. that a. Lunchon? down. Holy shit! Fuck you! Hi! Hello, Loomchan, and all of your raiders. Welcome! Hi, I'm Eric. Yes, that one. I'm a pudgy little tardigrade who likes to play video games. And today we are approaching what we believe is the final boss of Signalis. Not 100% sure everything's leading me to believe that, but that's what we're doing. And by the way, hello and welcome, Loomchan! 
What were you up to today? What were you just doing? And what brings you by? Thank you for the raid. Are you a Signalis fan? Or are you just here to come check out an adorable tardigrade? Ooh, Signalis, exactly. The Rainbow Pikachu. Okay, all right. Fucking great name. V, you can't do the redeem like that. You gotta say who. Is it to the Loom raid? Or is it to Loomchon specifically? Can't just say do thing when a group of people has arrived. And hello, everybody. What was Loomchon up to? And how are y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh. Okay, there you go, guardsman, you fucking weirdo. Hey, V. V, who you redeeming on behalf of? Yes. No, I gave you two options. You either pick one, or I just refund the points, V. You've got to make the choice. I'm not making the choice for you. And I guess we're not going to play the game until you tell me what you want, V. How do you want the redeem paid out? Play in uh, Final Fantasy VIII with a friend of mine. Hell yeah. Never really played much of the Final Fantasy... No, that's not true. During my first QA contract for a company, we did backwards compatibility for the whole Xbox catalog. And I remembered I had an eight-hour pass I needed to do on a Final Fantasy game. I can't tell you which one it is, but I can give you as much details as I know. Real, The game had you start off at like a school, and a big component in the early game was going to this like carnival event outside the school, and you had to, you had to go through a bunch of shit. For Loomchon then? All right. Well then, I apologize if you weren't ready. That's eight? No, there's no fucking way. No, 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 hold up. Hold up. Loom John. Loom John. Hold up. One second. One second. You have to tell me if what I just described was the game you were literally playing. Loom, you don't understand. You don't understand how fucking backwards and bullshit that would be. If I, if the one and only Final Fantasy game I did game testing on was the one you were playing before you raided me. Wait, maybe it's Agito? Carnival? That's not it. Okay. Okay. I was about to lose my fucking shit if that had been true. But before we get into it, Loomchon, I'm afraid V, the sleepy bunny, has redeemed something on your behalf. So, before we can get into it, Loomchon. Ara, ara. And officially welcome. I'm sorry, my chat is weird. They like to inflict this on anybody who shows up. And uh, I'm, I'm horribly, I'm horribly embarrassed and apologize and sorry about that. It is unlikely to happen again. My chat is very hoarding of their, well, we really already read these, didn't we? Do you guys want me to read them again? Like new day, new stream, make sure we get all the content in. I must say, nice out of out of. Well, thank you, Rainbow Pikachu. That was sort of my mid-range one. I prefer to go much lower when I'm doing it, but I really wanted to just put the oomph behind it and not focus on the drop, you know? Eric the Tired Grade? What do you mean I look tired? Fight me crazy. Oh, right, Adler. <clears throat> so Adler, we do the German voice, yeah? All efforts to contain this illness have been in vain. All the Gestalt workers have succumbed to it, leaving only dark shadows on the walls and the floors where they died. And soon all of us replica will have lost our senses and turned to rising masses of flesh. I now believe it was not an infectious disease, nor some form of poison or radiation. It was the slow corruption of reality itself. As I've relived the same cycle over and over, each time details changed, things are twisted, added, removed, along until it all turns to nothing but noise. A crashed ship 
a strange gate, a hole in the ground. An island beyond reach, memories from other lives, dreams of suffering and loneliness, a promise. A search for someone lost. I saw her and the red emptiness waiting for me. We had made a promise as the memories of a stranger rushed into my mind. I felt the borders of myself blur. Now I can no longer tell where Falk ends and Elster begins. Hey there, Sour. Stop. You must turn back. There is nothing for you there. You've tried so many times. You've failed every time. Don't you see that you're ruining everything? This is your final warning. We were dancing to that song they start the broadcast with. We fell asleep watching that movie we had seen before so many times. If only I could take us back to that time when we were happy. These memories are mine now. All right, girl, take us to that reality. Why did you return? There's nothing for you here. I am Melania, Blade of Mecha. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't see a fucking angelic sword lady in games anymore. All of them are Melania, Blade of Mikola, and all of them are here to fucking murder me. All right, Falk, let's go. Beat thick. Both of us, we are incomplete. Let us become whole again. Hey, right, girl, no thank you. All right. So we got the spear. Oh, fuck, right. And then we got to Do we... Oh, shit! Okay, so just run up and use. Got it. Shit. All right. All right. I got a little distracted there. Fuck. We gotta move. Gotta move. All right. That was a spear. Fuck. Oh shit. Are we out of? Are we out of ammo? We're out of. We're out of ammo already. Oh, that's not good. No, I don't need shotgun shells. Shit. All right, that'll work though. Oh, okay. Can we grab that spear? We can't grab that spear. All right, looks like we can grab it now. We have. All right, we got one repair patch. Oh shit, we got our needle in again. Get speared! Yeah! All right, get away. We need room. I don't know what these reality orbs are, but I don't like them. Please, lady, please. All right, that was wrong. Let's not reload. God, I can't see. Okay, then they explode. And then I can grab it. Then we gotta move. Oh, okay. Oof. All right, wait, wait. She knelt. Can I get around the shield? Yeah! All right. Okay. Got some more. Wait, it did it. Did it not grab them? Fuck! Fucking hell! I can't see. I can't fucking see. Jesus. 
Okay, we gotta use those now. Uh, we've got pistol ammo, or I guess revolver ammo. God damn it. Okay, got them all dropped. Okay, avoid reality balls. Oh, they're getting a little faster. She's gonna throw spears, ain't she? Yep, and they explode. Am I away enough? Nope, wasn't. I think I got hit in there. Wait, but she knelt down? It's... All right, grab this one. Okay, can't really see them now. Okay. Do I have any rounds left? Shit! Okay. Please don't. Ma'am, please. Please, no. I'm out of ammo entirely, girl. Please. Right, let's just double check. Yeah, the spear's the only thing I got. No healing, no ammo, not of any kind. Okay, we got reality balls and more glitching, you cheating fuck. Give me my screen back. Oh. So wait, do I just lose now since I can't hurt her anymore to make her kneel or will she eventually just kneel down? If I could survive long enough, will I get a chance to stab her with the spear? Okay, reality balls. Okay, we're good, we're good. Eric, you poor soul. S shooting just speeds it up, okay. Wait, 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 wait! Did we? Violent scene missing. Fair enough. Wait, hold up. What? What's up, guard? It didn't play the scene? What scene? Boom. Headshot. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub, Terramon. Now, we are Venom. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Dr. Acula. <clears throat> uh, da, da. And welcome officially. You've returned. Damn, dude, you good? Are you really willing to go through with this once more? You've seen what happens. This world cannot take much more. This may be our last chance. If you go back, it all falls apart. I can't let that happen, you selfish monster. Good night, Terramon. To destroy everything. Oh, 
Oh, please let us actually get into the ship this time. I can't handle our arm falling us off and us collapsing again. Come on, girl. Oh, please. Okay, cool. We're in. And we got some reading right off the bat. Hell yeah. Hope this ain't just a checklist. <clears throat> Penrose Briefing. Phase 2. Start of decrypted transmission. By our calculations, 1,500 cycles of mission time will have passed when you receive this message. Congratulations, comrade. By now, you should have become fully acclimated to your new life on board your ship. As you approach the Oort Cloud, your search for new worlds will begin. Utilizing the long-range sensors, you will scout for valuable resources. Habitable, wor habitable worlds or signs of alien life. Remember to rely on your replica to assist you in maintaining your vessel. We all wish you great success in your mission. Damn. When I signed up for this mission, I just wanted to get away from everything. I was sick of rot front, of school, of photo store. Sick of the fake smiles and the whispering behind people's backs. When I saw the photo of that soldier, I wondered who she was. Was she happy? Was her family proud of her? Did her comrades love her? Since we looked alike, could I, could I have been like her? And in the end, I, I just wanted to leave. Nothing I had done or made ever meant anything to anyone, so why bother here? I am finally free to get to be myself and do what I want. I can finally be happy. Congratulations, comrade. You've survived 3,000 cycles, reaching the final phase of the Penrose program. With the end of the operational lifetime of your replica unit approaching, it is time to prepare for the final phase of your mission. If you have not found a suitable world for landing by this point, accept that you will not. For solace in the thought that others might be successful where you failed. As you are probably aware, your ship's spare parts and rations will soon be depleted. Life support systems and reactor shielding will soon begin to fail. And radiation may begin Leak from the cooling system. We recommend you do not attempt to prolong your suffering by reusing old filters or rationing supplies. Instead, make peace with your fate. We suggest that you ask your replica, while it is still functional, to spare you a slow and agonizing death, or that you may take permanent rest in the cryogenic pod. Remember... You will have died serving your nation by partaking in a glorious demonstration of our power.
talk some more to the Elster unit. She's different from the replicas I knew back home. Nothing like my teachers or the block work protector. I know she didn't have a choice, but it feels like she's also here because she didn't fit in. It's like we've run away from the world together. At first, I didn't like having someone around, and I was glad that she's quiet and didn't approach me, but lately I've missed having someone I can talk to. It's been so long since I've last seen another person. I have bought my wife a fridge for Christmas. I can't wait to see her face light up when she opens it. I never thought I'd miss it. Except her. Everything is the same in here. Always. Nothing ever changes. How you doing, Ratchet? Welcome, welcome. I had a strange dream. I was listening to the radio with my mother. Like back then, the numbers were on and mother was taking notes with a book on her lap. Sings, notes, 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 sings, notes. Abel, you doing okay, buddy? Are you alright? Like back then, the numbers were on and mother was taking notes with a book on her lap. It was that book that I saw in the shop window of the bookstore where the twins lived. The one with the yellow hooded figure on the cover. When I went there to buy it, it was gone. Erica said the protectors had confiscated it. Or was it Issa? I can't remember. Everything is always the same. I feel like I'm trapped inside the ship. I know every bolt on every panel in every room of it. I've seen everything. I've done everything there is to do in here. I can't concentrate on anything. It's like there's this fog inside my head. And whenever I try to do anything, I just can't focus. I want to go outside. I want to breathe fresh air. I want to feel wind on my face and in my hair. I think I lost more hair. I'm sitting here getting older. Every time I wake up, I feel older, weaker, sicker. I get out of breath so easily lately and my back hurts when I sit down. How much longer will this go on? Feels like I'm just slowly dying. How to stop someone from choking Wuff Sniff Gshvush Gsvi Stop Xeg Zig Bugbij Shitva Stop Jusus Yuju Xeg Gsuay TWF to Spi Stop. Just one second and here we go. Let's see. Eric, perhaps mute the TTS for now. I've got a better option. Don't you worry. Let's see here. And perhaps a bit of politeness is in order for other people's viewing experience. All right. I'm tired of it all. Every time I go to sleep, I wonder if I'll wake up again. I'm scared that it'll be the last time I said goodnight to her. Did I say it right? Will she be okay? What if only one of us just won't wake up tomorrow? I don't want to die. I don't want to live anymore. I... Everything is just so exhausting. I just want to lie down and disappear. I just want to sleep. Please just let me sleep. 
Please, just make it stop. Please. Hey, Zelix, how you doing? Hold up. I couldn't keep my promise. Despite my best efforts, I eventually fell ill too. It had to end this way. Hold up, what? It's time. This is all that's left. Go home. Remember our promise? Elster. I can't do it. You have to do it. It's time for this to end. Please. Du hast es verspoken. Sorry. Actually, yeah, Dr. Acula, this was me doing a blind playthrough of this game. I did need some help after the false ending to learn that wasn't the ending of the game. But beyond that, I think I've gotten through this almost entirely without explanation or spoiler. So I am slightly baffled. God, that is fucking cursed, though. Holy shit. Yeah, my only complaint with the game is that they handle the fake out really poorly. Yeah, what I would say is, and it's ironic because we played uh, Slay the Princess just a bit before we did this, is that generally when you want to do a fake out ending on players... What you want to do is a force cut, I find. Basically a forced program termination. You want something that feels like it incorrectly. Sorry if hurt. It ended incorrectly. This ending is called Promise. What are all the ending names, Guardsman? If you don't mind just letting me hear what they're all called. But... Uh, when you just cut, like, the game entirely, it immediately communicates to the player that something went off, essentially, if the program force ends. And they're almost always going to be curious enough to not only restart the program, but attempt to play it again. Meanwhile, if you get sort of a fake-out ending that leads to credits and gets you back on the main page with your save gone, for a deep artistic game like this, it can often just feel like they deleted your save after the game ended. You can look at, for different reasons, Near Automata, 
and, um... Fuck. Oh, y'all are gonna hate me for forgetting the name of the... Uh, Undertale. Uh, do save file manipulation and encourage you to do save file manipulation. So players are already attuned to the idea that their save file can be affected by the game ending, essentially. So I feel like you need to communicate a little bit to the players. So there's promise, artifact, leave, and memory. Damn. So what point then, guardsman, am I making the decisions for a lot of it? Artifact is only possible if you've completed the game already. Okay, okay. Yeah, a fake ending shouldn't go too long before letting you know that it's fake, else people will be fooled. And literally, I I was a minute away, Dr. Acula myself, from actually just stopping playing Signalis after the fake ending. Because I was just like, okay, yeah, that's a weird ending. And it's sad that they just delete the save afterwards, but all of that kind of matches up a bit with what I was expecting. But holy shit, no, nah, I'm just watching this, and I'm just thinking of... And this is a this is like an unproven thing, I'm pretty sure. But like one of the most fucked space mission stories I've ever heard. And this could be a hundred percent false, but it just kind of holds this same energy, you know, that there were these people who were basically running a pirate radio station during the Cold War, and at one point they were just trying to pick up uh, feeds off of satellites when on a random channel they started hearing signals and so they they were able to hone in on one specific signal that they realized was broadcasting a, a russian woman's voice or a woman speaking in russian and as they listened the radio signal began to become panicked and staticky and slowly the voice went quiet and then the signal hit that they had just kind of faded, becoming like quieter and softer until eventually the signal was fully lost. One of the theories was that this radio station had accidentally picked up on one of the first ever manned missions into space, but that it was a proof of concept that a human could survive exiting the atmosphere and that a cosmonaut was put on a one-way launch, essentially, out into space. And there was something mechanical, electronic, fire-related, or just a realization that there was no return system and they had just overheard this person's last panicked message as they drifted off into space. And there's something... Oh, let's see here. Total game time, 11 hours. Total active play, 9 hours. Times saved, 22. Times loaded, 6. Times died, 5. Average time between saves, about 30. Damage taken... Total healing, yeah. Deaths cheated. Huh? Enemies killed. Shots fired. Ending promise. And there's just something generally cursed, I think, about that idea of drifting off into space. There's the reason I think the, the movie Gravity has such a, a horror feel to it. And I think, I might be wrong, and if any of y'all know of this, I think there hasn't been an instance, like a recorded admitted to instance, of someone being lost in space. I think, at least from the U.S., like, known missions, obviously, the worst one we have is a ship blowing up on its way out. I just don't know if a human's ever been lost in space. 
You know, I'm gonna fucking look that up actually. One second, y'all. Has a human ever been lost to space? Technically, ha no. However, there are several astronaut crews killed in spaceflight related activities. Okay. So, yeah, there's no recorded incidents. Yeah, yeah, lost cosmonauts. There's there's no recorded incident of a human ever being lost to space. It's, honestly, there's a chance that contemplating it is actually contemplating a death that has never happened before. Of drifting into space, knowing there's literally nothing to be done and it's just so fucked of a thought such a deep fear that i feel like is existent in the mind hey well i i get it you're sorry i just needed to make sure you understood what you were doing it's one thing to fuck with me, Abel, and I'm very accepting of people fucking with me but there is a point where you're intentionally Ruining other people's viewing experience. Listen, if you want to trick me into doing shit that gets me killed, that's one thing. If you're using TTS to interrupt people's favorite part of a game, I'm going to put you in timeout for a couple of minutes. Make you learn a lesson, okay, Abel? Well, that's all right. So yeah, just that thought, though, of that ending where you realize that you have been sent out into space to fucking die. Because the simple fact that they... Lord, I mean, that means they're just spitballing, aren't they? Kind of reminds me a little bit of what was going on in uh, Outer Worlds. Or Outer Wilds. Yeah, Outer Wilds. Only with them, obviously, they're using time fuckery to get around the, the infinite chance that's happening there. But no matter how sensitive of scouting equipment you have on a ship, if you're just sending it off in a direction and just hoping it picks up something, God, how hellish that is. Like, what a horrible methodology to go about. Just inflicting the knowledge like that on someone that... Yeah. We, we sacrificed you, lied to you about it, and now not only are you going to die eventually, well... Yeah, it's in your hands now. Whether it's quick or slow, how you go about it, we do not recommend trying to prolong it at all. In fact, you should probably just ask the robot there to kill you. Oh, what happens to their sentient mind after that? Well, they're probably going to drift into insanity themselves and have to deal with it on their own. All in all, though, Fair trade for us. God damn. Oh shit. Great. Now I'm in a now I'm in a sad mood. How are all y'all doing? You guys enjoy the playthrough? <laughs> sure hope you all enjoy the Yeah. You got technically the only good normal ending? Shit. Well, let's fucking leave. Yes, hell yeah, Abel. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Like I said, today was probably just going to be a shorter stream because it was really just about trying to get ourselves out and through the ending there. Leave as you walk off into the distance. Oh, time to die in space. Like, so, like you just walk off into the snow? Damn. And you just leave them there in the cryopod? 
honestly, I'd say a fucked, but also very understandable ending. Just not being able to make a real decision in that sort of a situation and just having to leave. Ooh. With this kind of game, a good ending is all at all is rather surprising. Mm -hmm. Artifact is good because you both live. Hold up. So artifact is a is a, and don't don't like full on spoil this for me. So artifact is an ending you can only get if you've played through once already. And you gotta go through a lot, but how do you get out of that situation? How do you get out of a spaceship loading through space, falling apart, nowhere near a landing place? Nowhere near somewhere to, to fucking just Eldritch. Oh, you just make Eldritch shit real. God damn. Well, then, fuck. Well, I think I'm going to have to digest all that just a bit. Thank you all for coming and joining me for this really, really short, I'm sorry, Tuesday stream. We have now gotten out the other side of Signalis. It's actually a really fucked ending, and I'd recommend doing it on your own time. All right, I'll definitely look into it, Guardsman. And worst case, I'll, I'll maybe I'll look up the ending, you know, just kind of watch it. But either way, I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out for me today. I want to thank Loomchan for the raid. I really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody from the raid who stuck around for a bit to see the ending. I'm going to send you all on off now for a very rare and exciting moth raid, y'all. So let us get ourselves ready to go say hi to everybody's favorite moth girl. Sorry, Lum. I am very, very biased. Did that not work? Is it forward slash? Did I fuck that up? I did fuck that up. Ugh, scuff. Oh, here's our raid for Junie. And here is our raid message to your Tarot Raid. I hope you all have a great evening, a great night, and a great rest of your weeks. I will see you all just as soon as possible. And I guess with Signalis out of the way, I'm going to have to think of something else for us to play. Though currently... Saturday is looking to be very, very exciting, as I've gotten a couple of responses, so all of y'all might be in for a neat treat this Saturday. But, 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 for now, I love you all. And let's get raiding in five, four, three, two, let's go.